But anyway, things are different around here. They have changed. I've seen it. You've seen it. We've all seen it. Things are spooky. Kind of ooky. A little kooky. Smells like dookie. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? As you can probably guess from the title, uh, there's more to explore in Tenement, so that's what we're gonna do. As it was pointed out to me by the pinkest piglet, you have to reset the game and then things will be slightly different. I should have known this because I've played enough Kitty Horror Show games to know that certain ones react differently if you restart them. I mean, it's like, same thing with Anatomy, same thing with Seven Days. Seven Days was particularly interesting because each actual day you played, uh, it had a different feel to it and a, diff and a different part of the story. So, I'm done. We all knew this, but whatever. Let's jump in and see what's what. Mm. Uh, so far, it looks the same, but then again, started out in a corner. Uh, hopefully, I did enough last time to elicit a change. I don't know. Everything looks pretty much the same so, so far. Hello, sir! Or whatever. I never got to travel much. That's my big thing, I guess. My big regret. We all have one, don't we? Like, one big regret we can't get over, and that's why we're here. I don't know. I'm just going off my movies and stuff. But yeah, like, I would have liked to, you know, living in the same town with the same rows and rows of cookie cutter houses, always night, street lights, never coming on, so they just stand there like pointless poles. It's mind numbing. My friend, whose name I forget, he used to travel sometimes with his family, and he would bring back, bring me back stuff. This one time, he brought me back a videotape from a place he'd gone during the winter break. Oh, but it wasn't a snuff film. He told me to watch it alone, so I did that night in my room, and it was this black and white video of a woman from the shoulders up. Only her eyes and mouth were empty. Like, no teeth or eyeballs, whatever. Just these black holes. Okay, so he gave you the ring. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, I never did figure out what it was, and it makes me feel stupid and sheltered. It didn't matter, though, because I stared at her, and that black, empty mouth contorting, I started to get the message, like it was being rolled over my brain with an ink roller, and the language didn't matter because the ink would just fill in the cracks, like she was talking about a tower someplace under some kind of lockdown. It was so nice, I started crying. From then on, whenever I'd wake up scared and I'd yell out my parents' names, blah, 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 blah. Can't find anything like that in a small town. Okay. Nate! Alright, cool. So, I... I don't know, but I... I'm guessing that I haven't done any... I haven't done anything to actually get this to reset. Can we go in the theater? I wonder. Nope, it's all caged off. Fooies. You know, it probably didn't reset because I never got into that building. Are you supposed to? I get this strange feeling that you're supposed to, but I never figured out how. I see, after I fell off the, the uh, edge of the world, now things are slightly different. I don't know if that's what they meant, but... <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely different than it was last time. Because I don't remember the red lights. There's this guy. I just wanted to get out. That was all. It didn't matter where I went. I just didn't want to be there anymore. I hated that place so much and it hated me. You could tell. It hated everyone, I think. But people just lived there anyway. As if they couldn't do anything to change it. 
So many of the old buildings downtown were getting soft, filling with pores, hatching wasps, and leaking chemicals all over the roads. Everywhere you went, people just sneered and sobbed. If you didn't sneer and sob, you didn't belong. Fuck small towns. I used to fantasize about getting in a car, throwing all my books and bottles and clothes off thing and things uh, in the back seat, and then just taking off one night, never looking back. Don't care what's out on the road. Can't be any worse than staying still someplace like that. I doubt the town would be any be strong enough to pull me back. The state I was the state it was in, and if it was, I don't think I'd care enough about me. I don't think it'd care about. Blah. English. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. Okay, so let's try again getting into that building with the blue light. Maybe there's a way in now that everything's different and spookity. Oh, hello, you weren't here before. Where do you come from? Sorry, that's maybe a little personal. I ask because you don't look like the rest of us. Oh, but also because I was going to ask if it had any basements. Where you come from, I mean. Like... The town or the city, basements fascinate me. They're like the ocean, you know, so depthless and unfathomable. And they're just right on there, under our feet, going down who knows how far. I don't know how anyone can walk past one of these stairways without being just absolutely desperate to go down and see where it leads. I don't just exactly... I did that exactly what... I did just that. I did just exactly that one time. I remember I was going home one night. I didn't want to go home because my apartment was dying and in a lot of pain. So it was lashing out. So I passed by this basement staircase next to a storm drain in the streets. I'm on and I just go. I just go down not really caring what happens to me. I was just... It was just the most wonderful thing I ever experienced. I remember feeling like the staircase was chewing me up. Like I was being twisted and turned all around. Ooh. I think I've read this one before, but still. That was a fascinating story, Mr. Guy. Uh, but how do I get in here? I want in to this place. Maybe I gotta go up here somehow. Is there a way up? But anyway, things are different around here. They have changed. I've seen it. You've seen it. We've all seen it. Things are spooky. Kind of ooky. A little kooky. Smells like dookie. Oh. This is slightly different. Or is it? This seems familiar, actually. Like, I've heard this version of it before. Yeah, I think I've heard this version of it before. Oh god, I don't want to I don't want to jump down just yet. I want to find uh big blue. You know, that building with the blue light. I don't want to I want I want I want I want to find that building first. And see if there's anyone near it. And the and the I want to read the marquee. The 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 movie marquee, you know? The theater. Seven eclipses at once. VHS tape found in the abandoned farmhouse. Con contents unknown. Gone with the wind, but starring a bunch of... more eels instead of people. <laughs> I'd actually pay to see that. Hello, sir. Do you have anything different to say to me than the other people's? Nope. Alright, fine. Hello. Have you met? Ghosts! Ghosts! This building is full of ghosts! Yes, we've met. Boing! Into the starry void! Okay. Now then. Wait a minute. Not you. You. Not you. You. Yay. 
Oh! It's all bright in daylight now. I've never seen it this way before. How nice. I can actually see things. Take a daylight stroll through the town. Hello! Oh, now I can actually see. It's a restaurant oh, patio or whatever. All right, cool. Hello. Oh, good, you're back. I was just thinking about what you asked me yesterday and... Oh, wait, you're not them, are you? You're someone different. Sorry, I mistook you. It's hard to see. Do you want to hear what I was going to say anyway? Yes. I was going to tell you about the cul-de-sac I used to visit. The road only went so far as the end of the cul-de-sac and then stopped. Which is to say, there were no inroads. It was just there, out in the middle of some huge expanse of nothing. The only way you could get there was to dream about it. Or have a doctor induce it. Have a doctor induce it with some chemical or other. You think you're alone there no matter how many other people are with you. You can't see or hear them, and whatever they do there, it doesn't affect you. So this cul-de-sac, it's very Midwestern suburban. Plain, drab, little middle-class houses. They're always dark and empty, but the nice thing is, if you go there and you wait long enough, one or two of the house's front doors are going to open, and then you can just walk in. The houses are more interesting on the inside than the outside. You don't say. Which I guess is true of all houses. They'd be different every time, although the layouts would be mostly unchanged. I remember going into one of the houses once and all of the carpets were torn up and the walls unpainted, as though the house were still under construction. I went up to the top floor of the house and went to the master bedroom, which was full of these wire mesh cages full of grasshoppers, the big dark gray ones, all angry and banging around trying to get out. There were, there were three windows in that room. Two of them looked out onto the cul-de-sac, but one of them looked out over this long, dark tunnel where each time you'd look, you'd see a distant figure start rushing towards you, loping with its two long limbs and face. You'd wake up before it got you, like you were just ejected or something. I was always curious to see this figure. I wanted to wait until it got right up to the glass, but the house was never like that again after the time it was like that for me. Once in a lifetime opportunities, I suppose. Well, at least you got to see what you saw. Uh, but anyway, I'm off to see more adventure and possibly reset and see what happens. Also, I want to read the marquee now because it seems to change every time I look at it. Hello, Mr. Marquee. The theater's exposed and beating heart. Motion pictures of wolf people screaming at things. Spines. Oh wait, is that? Oh, I, for a brief second I thought that the fence was gone, and I was elated. But no, no. Why would it be gone? Why would I be able to explore somewhere that I want to explore? Hmm. All right. Well, what about jumpity jump into nothingness? Do, 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 do. Strolling through the sewer like it's a another funky Tuesday. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Come on, where'd that door go? There you went. Or walkway. Not you. This away. Then this away. Then this away. Will it change? I hope it changes. Oh! Back to dark and red. Alright. Reset! Ah, uh, back to this again. 
Is it just me or are the seams of the world getting a little more? Oh wait, no, that's just wires up there. Oh. That was a bit early, but whatever. Alright, so... How is it gonna look now? I want to see a different cityscape. Sort of. Not really, but still. Ah. This one's pleasant-ish. Alright. Up to the theater, please. I dig the music. Looped footage of baby spiders emerging from egg sacs and devouring mother. Run. Now. Hmm. Faintly red tainted static. Adults only. Ha ha. Alright. Do you say anything different, good sir? Or whatever you may be? I like this, I like this particular track, because it's like, kind of, a peaceful melancholy that's just, reminds me of high school, really. Never mind, I don't, don't, eh, uh, eh, uh, eh! Uh. It's not so bad here. Really, it's not. What I mean is, there are worse places we could have ended up. And while, yes, I understand that the fact that it could be worse doesn't mean it's okay, I think it's important to try and look at things positively, right? Perspective on... Honestly, for me, this is an improvement. I don't know where you come from, but I grew up in an industrial town. The factory was the nucleus of the town, and all the jobs were the main source of income. I manufactured vehicle, vehicle parts, mostly cardiovascular and endocrine. Not exactly rocket scientist, very blue collar. The whole town tasted like smoke, because it was just caked all over everything. The soot and grime, there's so much awful stuff you have to put up with growing up in an industrial town. The people never smile because their work takes, it that, takes that out of them. So it feels so unwelcoming even when you were born and raised there. Sometimes the factory would sicken and close down. And then you'd wake up and all the streets downtown would be flooded with the blood that had congealed overnight. And you can imagine how that smells. Just smells in general were enough to make you want to be anywhere else. Downtown at night it was just bars and bars and bars. Brick buildings and neon signs and open pub doors pouring out noise. All the factory workers would go there and lick it up and watch it all house broadcast balloons. It's, it's just done things to those towns you how do how you want to blah, 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 blah. I cannot keep up with the scrolling whatever nice story lady I'm sorry about your childhood being shitty uh what about up here nope I've already been here time for another jump possibly a reset Oh, that's a beautiful scape. I would call it a landscape, but it's not really land. It's a horizon, that's what that is. Show me something different, please. No. Oi, oi, oi. Oh. This looks slightly different. It's a little more red. And scratchy. But the music is still cool. I like it. In a sort of I don't want to think about it way. Well, let's see what the marquee has to say this time. Uh, this way? Are you a new person? Are you going to say something different? Nope. I've read that one before. Alright, so what does this say this time? 
fevered visions of empty rooms. Sunday and end. Wow, suddenly I can't read. Sunday endoscopy marathon. Giant hornet slug versus rural midwestern town. That sounds like a slow crawl of a movie. Hmm. Fancy. I'm still curious about you, blue light. Ooh, look at the dead trees up there. Why can't I get up there either? I want up there. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? I want up there. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way up there, but I want up there. It's mean. Don't show me things I can't see up close. That's just poopy. Flung! All right. How is it going to change now? Hmm? Not you. Ah, yes, you. I've learned to navigate these sewers way too well. What's it gonna look like? What's it gonna be like? Oh, you again. Reset! Oh. Things are looking a little sickly. Well! Okay, okay. What about you? Do you tell a different story? Hey, I'm sorry. I talk, but shit. Are you feeling this? It's like, oh god, I don't know, but fuck. I can barely stand it. So heavy, burning. Feel like skin splitting or crackling. Cracking. I don't know. God, it's bad. Never been this bad, I don't think. What did you... Hey, wait a minute. What did you... What did I... I didn't do nothing. I, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. What does the Marquis have to say? Are all these people going to have different dialogue now? That everything's kind of looking a little bit... Sickly? This entire universe is... Kind of... Looking mad and... Nerve endings are going all over the place. Well, the common theme in kitty horror show games is that the entire environment is alive, a living organism, and it's feeling pain, so. Sure. Hello. What are you going to tell me? Hey, are you. Do you feel this? I don't know, it's like, something's wrong. Fuck, my head. I feel so heavy. I'm not supposed to feel like this. I don't think... Are you feeling this too? I... I don't... Okay, everyone's feeling the weight of what's going on here. So that's... That's the interest. I'm gonna get different reactions from different people. But basically the same sentiment. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I have a feeling that it hurts. No. No, I don't like this. This is wrong. This isn't supposed to be... This isn't supposed to happen here. It's not supposed to happen here. Back there, maybe. Back where I came from. But this is wrong. I thought... There isn't supposed to be any more... I don't understand! Ooh. So this is a, You've experienced this before, have you? Is this what a dying town looks like? I suppose. Listen. You have to stop. You have to. Don't you understand? Don't you see what's happening? This isn't right. It's hurting us. It's sanding us down. You can't keep doing this to us. You have to stop. Please, please, please stop. Maybe I should stop. I don't know. What 
Should I be callous and keep going, or should I just stop? Uh, I'll leave that up to you guys to see if I should do this again one more time, maybe. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna leave this one right here. Thank you so much for joining me in this experience. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Share this with your friends if you feel so bold. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.